we're going to go over how to use event chips in Google Sheets. So event chips are part of the Google's Smart Canvas initiative, and they allow Google Sheets to be connected to other Google services. So in this case, event chips allow you to connect Sheets to Google Calendar. So I have Sheets on the left-hand side of the screen, and then I have Google Calendar on the right. Let me X out of this so you can see what it looks like. And we're going to use event chips to make this connection between the two. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to insert a chip into Google Sheets. And there's a couple different ways to do it. The fastest way, if you've been doing this for a while, is just to type the at symbol. And the at symbol activates this special menu where you can put all these new data types in. We will scroll down to the bottom and this is showing uh, calendar events. So it's grabbing three events from tomorrow. So it's guessing right in this case. And first we'll insert it just by clicking on one of these. So we'll left click on it and it's placed the event chip. Right, so let's hit enter. And so if you had a lot of data in here, right, you might lose, lose track of what's a smart chip, but you can see because they get the gray pill behind them. So kind of a gray highlighting, but a regular gray highlighting would be the whole cell. So this looks a little bit different. And then obviously when you hover over them, you get this extra information, but let's go over the two other ways to insert these before we dig into that extra information. So the first way was the shorthand way of doing the at symbol. Second way is going to be through the menu. So you can do insert, come down the smart chips. These are all the different types. And we wanted to insert a calendar event. And the advantage of doing it this way is you don't have to sort through all the different files and the people before you get the calendar events. So it just, just shows the calendar. So we will select this next event, fills snow cones, and that inserted the uh, event chip. And then the last way is, let's say we want this Brutus's dinner. What you can do is you can open the event and then you can copy the URL once you have just that one event open and then you come back in the sheets and you can paste it. So this is a different workflow, right? If you're already in calendar, you see the event that you want and you want to get just that one event in, this is a good way to do it. So I've copied that URL and this is not completely obvious. So how I can get it to work is I can click off of it, go back onto the URL and then sheet says, you know, you want to replace this URL with a chip. You can leave it as a link if you just click link or you can click on chip. So we will do that and it converts it into an event chip. So those are the three ways to do it. And now that we've done that, let's talk about the extra powers that this gives. So sure it's a connection, but what really can you do with the connection? So the first thing is that you can just hover over it for extra information. So Hank Sterry Barn, if you're just looking to play in your day, this will tell you that the date and the time, and you can copy the link. And if you go into a browser and you paste it, hit enter, it will bring you to that day with, I don't know why it didn't bring me all the way into the uh, page with just that event, but it will take you essentially to the event where you can then uh, do a different, you can interact with it. So the other thing that you can do with these event chips is that you can extract data from them. So this is taking more advantage of the fact that they're uh, linked to another Google service. So we're not only going to pull the title in, uh, but we will do a lot of other information. So I've selected three at a time. I will right click and then I will um, click on data extractions. And then for these event chips, there's a lot of different things that you can extract. So we will, let's put some headers on here so we know what we're looking at. We're going to extract the summary. We'll get the URL in case we want to go back and forth. Let's skip the description now. And we want start time though, start date. I think that'll bring in the time as well. And let's get the location. So we have those and what we will do, there's two different ways to do this. So we do have the right chips selected. So you could adjust that in this rectangle at the top. And what you could do is you could do the summary, the URL, start date and location. This will fill those columns. Let's do it this way first. 
it wants me to verify it. I don't know why, but we will say yes. And that was easy, right? So it brought out the description. We can adjust the columns if we want by double clicking on it. And that made it way too big. So we will undo that. Typically, oh, it's because of things above it. Uh, let's just adjust the column manually by moving it around a little bit. But so it brought in the summary, it brought links to the events and it brought in the start date and the start time and the location. So you could plan your day like this instead of having to comb through calendar for some reason, it's easier in Google Sheets. This is how you get the information in. I promised you another way to do these extractions. So let's close this sidebar and we will copy and paste these event chips below. So they're like any other data in Sheets where you can move them around if you want. And we will extract them with a formula. So you might want to do use this technique if you were to nest this inside, say, another formula. So you could say something like, if today is Thursday, then pull up the location for this event, right? So this is how you would pull that data out. So A34 is our first smart chip. And let's say we want the location. Once you hit a period, it will give you all of the available extractions in this pop-up menu. We said location, so we can click on it here. You can also type it out, uh, but we'll click on it. Hit enter, and it gives you a text string with the location. So now that you have the locations, you could do something like this. We could copy this formula down and we could plan our day. So let's say that this is the beginning location. This is the ending location. And let's say we start here and then we'll copy the next one into the ending. I have to copy that as a value. We'll take this ending and we'll paste it here. And let's say we want to end up where we started. All right, so now that you have the beginning and the ending locations, we can use an add-on that we make here at Sheets Help called Trip Tally, and we will use the existing sheet, and we'll say, look, our, our beginning locations are in B34 through B36, and our ending locations, we'll do this way, we'll say use the active selection, and please give me miles, and include the distance and the time. Well, let's say I want some exercise. Let's, let's do bicycling and uh, also include the links to Google Maps. So click run and there we go. You got the mileage, the time and the routes. So if you want to learn more about the different types of smart chips that you can insert in a sheet, I'll link to a video right now that covers all of them. And there's also a link on the screen to Trip Tally in case you want to check that out. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.